Hello, greetings, my friends. This is Gilles. I thought I come. I have much to talk about today. I'm like a cosmic journalist. Sometimes I bring about original thoughts, but sometimes I comment on the reports and I, I just need to anchor those energies. I'm going to do this video in two parts. I'm going to pull some cards in the middle. And so I, the, what's very important is that we need to clear up all kinds of old beliefs from our roots, from, from the base. For we need to be really anchored within our divinity and our strength lies from the clearing up of our roots to have a solid foundation to connect to the center of the earth and for that we need to let go of all kinds of old belief that that affect us in in unconscious way the only belief we do not want to let go of is that we are source energy beings we are eternal beings of love and light that we and that is really what will unfold before us as long as we we can accept that this um, to let go of all kinds of old beliefs and um, and there will be there's going to be a lot of change but the change that are going to be coming is not about chaos it's about evolution it's about empowerment it's about finding harmony finding inner peace for all the truth that humanity has been believing on in is is actually an illusion that uh, soon it's like a glass it's going to be it's, it's becoming to be shattered and it's going to, so we have glass all around us and it's going to continue to break down and break down and break down until all of this glass this 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 illusion of truth is been shattered and then the light will come up and the truth will be revealed after the ascension there will be only one sky one god one sun everybody will live in this one life this one planet for now, there's all kinds of beliefs and so on. And uh, so, so the peace will be restored. Huh? It is... Uh, um for, for we, we have been chosen for this mission because we are very courageous, we're very strong to, to assist humanity in this ascension. But we've done that before in other solar system, in other constellation, in other universe. We've been doing that for a very long time. We've, we've came, we've got really hurt by the process. We healed and we ascended and then we, we, we get our, our medals and so on. And we let, the, we let it all go and then we start it again. And, and we may even do it again on other planets in the future. Who knows, if we are called to do that, we need to reconnect to the beauty of the source within, to the softness, the kindness, the, the goodness, the, the, all, those, four, the, 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 all the, the, those wonderful things that, that this inner, inner being is, is, wants to reveal to us and tune into that and, and enjoy that. It is very important to align with that. For we may not feel that we belong to this cold world. For for when we were when we were unawakened, we, we just enjoyed our life with, with what we have. It's like, but now we are awakening. We realize it is completely disconnected from from the love of of source and from the love of of life. And so so there is not that there, there is a lot of love and, and in life, of course. But but there is a lot of things that are completely dysfunctional, love lies and manipulation and so on. So we do not feel like we totally belong to to that. But we do belong to the source. We belong. We belong to galactic family, we belong to our soul family, we belong to our celestial family and, and, and those beings are, are awaiting us for, for they've been looking after our soul evolution and, and we, soon we're going to be able to reconnect. For that you need to reconnect to your main guide, to your master guide, to your, your pathfinder guides, your garden angels, to, to, or, or to your, your the, whatever main guide is, is coming to you, is to connect with that guides all the time. Your guides is wise and you can trust them, he will never, he will never mislead you. So we have to learn to develop this connection with that celestial beings that, is, that's, that we have chosen as a guide and uh, more and more so that we can eventually re uh, return to that, that, that higher planes where we, that we left. And so we, but now if, 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 we, if we get distracted, this is like when we'll be, when it's like the, the return is no longer, uh, it's like postponed. So we do not want to postpone, we want to be, we want to, we want to align that and, and to make that a clear intention to return to our source for, for our guides will always reinforce our own inner power inner source they're not in ego to say well to, to, to cultivate any form of uh, they are beyond that they're only here to serve our evolution and they have the wisdom that qualifies them for that very soon we're going to receive our new assignment and it's going to be made very clear to us what is our assignment so just be ready be prepared for uh, we're receiving much help from the higher planes but uh, but we are the only one that can find our own true empowerment to can clear up all the, the what we need to clear up to let go of the old although the ego will fight to stay in this comfort zone to maintain they will do all it can to to keep to keep holding on to the old yet um, there has to be a compromise the ego will be completely um, 
Once the ego is, has accepted the, the soul plan, it will be reintegrated as a, a higher form, which will not be uh, in darkness, but in the light. It will be an enlightened form of individuality. And so, but we have to set boundaries and not to engage in the negative programs. It's very, because it, it lowers our frequency. It's difficult sometimes because of environment, but but we do want to disengage as much as possible with the collective drama, with the, we do not need to, to participate in that drama which sometimes we just need to nudge people to to, to realize that they have the power to the, the power within themselves to, to address their own shadows we have to own our own shadows in order to transmute them and as long as we refuse to address them we we, we are delaying the, the, the inevitable for eventually we're going to address our own shadows and we'll be able to ascend into the light so, but yet there is a, there is great value in everything and everyone is a, is a mirror, a learning process. Everything is teaching us. Yet we want to we want to evolve through harmony as much as possible. Now that we've passed through the the the, the, the most difficult, the, the valley of the shadows, like in the song, I'm gonna say. Um, so every everything and everyone is relative to our own soul growth and process. We're only what is allowed will happen to us. Sometimes we. we we say, well, I don't want that, I didn't want that, but then we went through it and now it's better. So it, we, we're moving towards this great healing, understanding also we all wire differently inside. We all respond. So, so just something that may work for somebody may not work for somebody else. Something that may work on one level may no longer work on the higher level. We all have different connection. We have different vision of reality and we have to continue to follow whatever's true to us and, and to, to, let, to accept uh, or, temporary beliefs that, that will, uh, that will uh, in, uh, to let go of inferior belief in order to adopt new belief. That doesn't mean that those new beliefs will not be abandoned eventually to move on to higher truths. For truth is beyond beliefs, it is, it is truth. Some people may not even believe in truth, don't believe in God, but there, there is a path for everyone. And so, um, in source or whatever, supreme intelligence, uh, life. Um, and and then, then what we seek is to, to be as present as possible, as often as possible, to be as spread, to, to, to move into the presence eventually, to move from the present into the presence. And, and within that presence, once we are in the presence, all is fine because that's, that's the goal of existence with the presence is a, is a transcendental intelligence that we have been gifted with. Also wanted to say that there's been all kinds of unnatural activities on the earth. There is all kinds of un unseen things that will be coming up to the picture. People will have to face that, face the shadows, face the, the ghosts and the, 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 the demons and the negative things in order to for them to, to be released from the human consciousness. They won't be able to, to feed on, 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 on our energy, so they will be... Um, some some beings, is... Um, I didn't say that in the French video, but there, there is some, some souls that are so dark that there is no more, uh, there is no more redemption possible, and and there's been uh, the karmic boards have decided they're going to reduce them to the form of an amoeba, a mono a monocellular creatures. That all their memories will be gone and lost, and they're going to have to go through a billion years of evolution to return to the the ability to be a, a, a creature that's be able to to connect to this to the grand design the creator so so this is um, for source will always try to save and and when, whenever there is a potential of evolution but when the devolution goes so far down there is no more hope life doesn't waste its time <clears throat> Also, I want to say that all the great catastrophes that have been announced will not happen. It will not happen. It is part of a fear belief system that is projecting all those catastrophes. Of course, the water is going to rise, but uh, but we'll have time to move. We'll have time to, to to settle down. Or the planet is actually trying to. This is she's going to be doing it. She's going to stabilize our climate. She's going to keep a little bit of the the snow on the mountain just to provide this beautiful this beautiful exercise. Also, to be able to to and all those things so they will be preserved um, the, the, those those places will be preserved for the for the enjoyment for our enjoyment for I love to ski I would like I wouldn't like to live in a planet where I couldn't enjoy that um, yet it is not really my choice for I'm just passing through here but um, but the, the planet will stabilize it is it the whole process is a, is a process of stabilization that is going on but we do want to stop all our unnecessary pollution our abuse of the this planet has been abused the natural world has been abused but the, the forces of nature have gathered and they're, they're ready to take a 
action and so so it's gonna it's gonna be shaken up the whole process the whole program this continue to will continue to have those, those shaken pieces of glasses so it's going to be a little delicate because uh, this reality is going to be blown apart but we've been prepared as light workers we we have many steps ahead for the keywords for me today is uh, is soulmates uh, and, and, and my instruction my inner instruction is to relax as relaxed as possible to be as peaceful as relaxed as to let go of all things that prevents us from, from being totally in the in in the in, in the peaceful state the highest wisdom for us today is slowing down so it is uh, it is confirmed that it's not just for me to need to relax we all need to relax we need to take it easy to be good to ourselves and to take our time to to to, to allow uh, allow the higher light to unfold and if there is a negative thoughts that come to into your mind says it's unnecessary it is not for me it is a return to sender it's no longer necessary to to process all the negative that may be pushed into our mind and and reality what we need to understand is morality is all the sense of right and wrong good and bad for we misunderstood what is right and what is wrong what is good and what is bad we do not know the cosmic law is going to be revealed it itself also so we'll know what is really good and what is really not good for us so we're gonna it's about letting go of this sense of morality of a feeling that because we, we we've been taught some moral principle it is what it is an absolute there is no there is only uh, the, the the cosmic source that is an absolute for for eventually we'll, we'll catch up to that but it will take quite a while before we reach that level of absolute um, deity absolute huh? but uh, for, for now it is uh, we are in the supremacy we, are, we have to attain this supremacy the sovereignty of supremacy the mastery of time and space in order to move into trans transcendental reality beyond time and space and then we'll find the ultimacy of creation before we even touch upon the absolute but this this idea of morality it's, it's a judge of the inquisition huh? it's like uh, she's like green and with this uh, this superior moral uh, they, they're trying to impose things on uh, the so all the, all the all that is imposed outer authorities are no longer necessary do not believe anything just rely on your inner inner sense of well-being and and goodness and and then uh, trust that huh? so letting go of those uh, the tree of life um, this tree of this tree of knowledge the good against bad uh, dark against uh, because the, the the battle has been created to serve the darkness so the tree of life is unified and then you will grow into the trees of wisdom through millennia to come once we have anchored this light what we need to do is the burden it's letting go of the burdens whatever we have as a burden we all have little burdens we need to let go of it's those things that are no longer necessary that we still carry on our back it is somebody who's carrying someone else on his back who's carrying a, a rooster and he, and the person has been subservient to this uh, there is also all kinds of astral entities that are that are holding on to us because they're feeding on the, the, the and so we have to let go of all the to ask to be clear to be uh, to, to be completely uh, free from from all uh, to, op to to clear up all the front chakra but our back chakras as well a lot of people have blockages on the back chakras they don't even realize because it's in their back so we want to be clear and free and clear and love will free us for for those entities only nourish themselves from fear from conflict from duality as we move into unity and love we, we get free of that and the outcome will be a new vision a new vision will emerge and, and, and a new society is going to emerge we're going to see the beginning of a new um, of a new reality so once we let go of morality we the, the sense of morality what we need to understand uh, the, this duality of right and wrong for there is a, there are certain things that are right for us and things that are wrong for us i'm not denying that but but we it, it comes from an inner sense of of, of guidance and, and 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 following that it doesn't come from other authority that will tell us what is right and what is wrong as long as we respect life in all its form that we do no harm uh, then we, we created as totally free creators then we'll have to discover patience understand patience for for life will unfold only at its own rhythm and so we, since we need to slow down as the wisdom is to slow down and once we get rid of the the burden is the, there is the the idea of courage the courage is a supreme virtue it brings all other virtues for we all have one virtue that we're most we're stronger in for for me it is a um, goodness has always been my one of my virtue to, to 
to, 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 to try to be good, uh, to, to do good into the world. And so, but, but there, there is a, um, a courage is, is like, uh, it, it brings all the other virtues together. So it is, it is these flowers that is able to grow uh, regardless of the obstacle for, for to be courageous doesn't mean we have no fear. It's that we're going to do it anyway, regardless of we have fear, if we are called to do something. And the more courage will unfold, the more uh, the more lucidity and compassion, love will unfold within us. And as we de this new vision unfold, we let go of all those old beliefs. We're going to discover the mastery. It is the card of the master here. We're going to become, become master or sovereign self. We're going to return to this sovereignty. Well, I hope this resonated with you. I'm going to bring about a few more ideas uh, briefly. Uh, th there was one, I'm, I'm on the inst on Instagram also, uh, I'm showing my pastel about the I Ching right now, so join me on Instagram if you like. Uh, and there was there was a lot of people that communicate on a lot of things and I'm, I'm subscribed to some philosophy as well. And there was one message from, that's sort of interesting to note it and talk about it here, it's about Hippocrates. Hippocrates is the father of medicine, he says do no harm. Before you do anything, you, uh, a healer should never do harm, which is now they have a, a lot of, um, not all, but a lot of the standard medical profession, they, they've given up this, this power to heal in order to medicalize because they are financed by the pharmaceutical. All of this will come into the, the knowledge of humanity as well. But with this thing I wanted to talk about, it said that before healing someone, you have to ask the person if he's willing to give up the cause of what created the illness. Because if we do not give up the cause, no matter how good the medicine, no matter how good the cure, or the technique, or whatever, if the root still, if there is still a root, they will continue to grow. And so we, the person has to be able to to see what is caused the, the illness, and and has to be able to to be willing to let it go. So so we have to look within ourselves uh, before we. we, we in order to remove the cause of, of, of whatever the dysfunction may be. And for a healer, it is important when the person is, is, is are they willing to let go of that thing? Because if, if you know, we, can, we can take away the, the effect, but, but if the root remains, uh, the, the, the illness will come back in some other form. Um, there is a process that was, was communicated through channel. I thought I repeat it here. So it's, it's just a journalist, a little bit like that, make a report on that. And it's a powerful, powerful little meditation. I practiced it last night. Um, it, it's, it's just, it's a say, it's an invocation or, or something we can say through our mouth that says, wake up. I'm giving you all my love and my light. Wake up. And we can say that to people. You can say that in the astral plane. You can, um, you can send that to, 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 to your friends, to your enemies, to, to, just by telling them that they will be grateful. You address the inner light within themselves and this inner light will wake up. They'll become more aware, they'll become more sensitive, they'll see the errors of their ways. If there if they are people that have, that have done wrong to you or, they, or, or your friends, they will be more awakened. Uh, last night I did it for the whole of humanity. I, 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 I put them all in one place and I tell them, I, I said, wake up. I give you all my love and my light. I also took all the heads of states that I could think of and I took them individually. I gave them that, that command to wake up. And, and then I, I took them all, because I might have forgot some, I took them all um, in the United Nations and I, I asked, I send them that energy so to, to participate. For we do not need to do all that much for everybody's got the keys of its own freedom within. We just need to give them a nudge so they, they, they can awaken and, and, and they'll find their way into the truth, into their own truth. Also, when I say we're moving towards the portal, the great portal of the 1111, it is a magnificent portal of timeless reality. I will always remember, for always remember, for, for the memories that all, all our memories will be understood very soon. Why we had to go through all this darkness, all those experiences. But this 1111, uh, on November 11, 2011, at 11, 11 in the morning, I was in front of my computer and then I saw my light body it was like two horses on the, ch I was on the chariot of light, but it was so beautiful. I wanted to go into the universe with it. Uh, and then the spirit says, no, you want it all now, but it's not the time. And so, but they showed me that. And so the, every, every 11, 11, those portals will be a timeless portal of um, opening our consciousness to a timeless reality. And so it will be uh, in an event, we're going to gain some clarity. We're going to be clear, a lot of things will be clarified. 
and um, and, and what what is happening is that the divine feminine, which is the divine love, the mother, the Tao, the, the prime creator for everything, is born from the divine love of God, which is the mother of the universe, Sophia, uh, whichever way we can conceive that this divine love. Um, we will actually be able to heal the divine masculine for the divine masculine has been more hurt even than the divine feminine is the divine will the div the will of man and, and our will is is not being aligned with the with the divine will so we're going to use this divine love to heal our divine will and so our action will be aligned with our highest good and that is what we seek to be in a, to, 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 to clearing up the, the river of life for, for, for many people is just a minuscule stream when it could be a great river and so so eventually the, the doors will open and, and this is really what we have prepared for in the in the 11 11 that is coming and so uh, also want to talk about telepathy very, very, for it is one of the power that that will unfold but it is not a mental thing where we're going to try to send a sword to push a sword onto someone first when you want to send a sword into someone you send it into these higher mental bodies and they will receive the information when it is time for them never push the sword on anybody else but but it is very much more a soul frequency vibration that is matching and then you will see your soul communicate sending a sword to somebody else or you will receive a, a, a sword from a soul that's like a, just a match frequency and that will create um, more uh, more comfort and, and you, you will begin to know that you are telepath and you are empath and you are able to and new powers will unfold from there uh, I also wanted to discuss the, the, the something that will be happening is all the truths about this vial we don't know exactly when but it is, is everything moving really quickly all the truths the ins and outs of this fake pandemic of this this biological weapon that's been unleashed on humanity the mask and the, the vaccines and all of it is going to be coming into the knowledge of people and it's going to create a huge um, cataclysm in the, in the collective psyche when they're going to see that some people that are loved and respected have a very dark parallel life and to the very dark things and, and all kinds of things like that for the the revelation are going to snowball at some point and it's like we move on to the stage two and the stage one was this pandemic and the, the, the awakening with it the confinement but we're moving into something else and very soon there's going to be some events that are going to be coming we're going to forget about that and it will never again we're going to be able to be trapped into this kind of into the cycle so so it is um it, it everything will be known there's going to be a lot that will be unfolding in the, the months and years to come uh, there was an idea that was brought up also by spirits who channel and i think it was yesterday so it was interesting to to see to to imagine life as a big halloween party and we are all divine love every every human being is divine love wearing a costume and the personality is a mask so eventually the mask will drop we're going to be ourselves but but for now it is about um is about talking to the God within before the people do not know they have this God within they're playing their role the good guy the bad guy the the, the rich the poor the the, the but, we, we, but but since everybody is into, into this costume and this character, when, when you address the costume, the, it will reinforce the, the, the negativity of someone. But if you talk to the soul within, it will soften up. They won't be able to... to, to they, they will be more of... Um, they, they will be more anchored towards the light. So it's always seeing that there is God, God in costume. Everything and everyone is God is wearing a costume and a mask. And so it will be... Uh, all of this will be... Uh, because it's trick or treat, you know, it's like... Is how you get the trick. Is how you you get the treat by connecting to the light and assisting the person realizing its own light. Some people will resist as well. You won't be able to, to awaken everybody, but 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 it will, it will soften up the, the the relationship in any event. Otherwise, there may be the trick. If, if we reinforce the negative side of somebody who's already negative, it will affect us a lot more than if we if we see the light from within and, and address that inner soul. And so, uh, so this is about the message I wanted to, to cover today. I'm going to sing a song and, and talk about, bring one more card. It's a song about somebody who's like, who's perceiving the lies and is tired of the lies and the deception and even religion. And it turns to love for love is really what we need to realize for love is the most powerful force in the universe. It is the, it is the root base of, of existence. Everything was created out of love. And after the, the mind created all kinds of polarities, but, uh, 
But love is, is the, the answer, is the, the origin, the destiny, the key. And, and so love, there's mil millions of frequencies of love. There's terrestrial love, celestial love. Everything is love. So, so when we see through the eyes of love, things take a new shape, a new color, a new depth. So it's a beautiful song. It's, it goes like this, called Love Rescue Me. <clears throat> love rescue me. Come forth and speak to me. Raise me up and don't let me fall. No man is my enemy. My own hands imprison me. Love rescue me. Many strangers I have met. On the road to my regret Many lost to seek to find themselves in me They ask me to reveal The very thoughts they would conceal Love rescue me and the sun in the sky makes a shadow of you and I <clears throat> Stretching out as the sun sinks in the sea <clears throat> I'm here without a name <clears throat> Sorry In the present, in the palace of my shame Said love rescue me In the cold mirror of a glass I see my reflection pass See the dark shades of what I used to be See the purple of her eyes The scarlet of my lies Said love rescue me Yea, though I walk in the valley of the shadow Yea, I will fear no evil I have cursed thy road and staff They no longer comfort me I said love Love rescue me. Sha la la, sha la 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 la, la la la, la la la, sha la 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 la, la la la, sha la la. I said, love, love, rescue me. I said, love, climb up the mountain. Said, love. I said, love, oh my love. On the heel of the sun, I'm on the eve of the storm, and my words you must believe in. Oh, I said, love, rescue me. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm here without a name in the palace of my shame. I said, Love, rescue me. I have conquered my past, the future is here at last. I stand at the entrance to a new world I can see The ruins to the right of me Will soon have lost sight of me Love rescue me Beautiful song, so you too used to sing that song. Bob Dylan participated in the, you can see it in the words that Bob Dylan has this little touch in the, in the lyrics. And so, I don't know, maybe in the music as well, I'm not really sure. Um, so the card of the day is the deep knowledge. So we're moving into the, the knowledge you receive from within is a deep knowledge. It may be relative, but it is, it is completely adapted to what we need to know, to the self-revelation, so self-empowerment comes through this, the acceptance of our inner voice and to, to allow that to this deep knowledge to to uh, to replace our old beliefs this knowledge of truth that comes from within i wish you a wonderful day thank you for everything and i'll talk to you later namaste <laughs>